Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. Did you know that the words Dolma and Sarma can mean a whole lot of different things? Basically, what it is is any vegetable leaf that's stuffed, filled, and rolled, like a cabbage roll, for example. Now, guys, there are probably more recipes for Dolma and Sarma and what the words actually mean than there are regions in the Balkans. Now, it's not only the Balkans that enjoy this recipe, but the Middle East, parts of Asia, Northern Europe, and even parts of North Africa. In Macedonia, when we make Dolma, we make it with vine leaves, and there are two versions, one that's stuffed with meat and rice, and one that's a vegetarian version with rice and aromatics. So on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia, we're going to be making Yelansi Dolma, which is a vegetarian stuffed vine leaf. They're to die for, guys. Let's get to it! <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen countertop. So what I have here are vine leaves. Now mine came in a jar. They're brined and they're very salty. So they need to be rinsed. They come packed really, really tightly, kind of like a rolled cigar. And you, what you have to do is gently, very gently, pry them. Now this one I've already done, obviously. Uh, pry them open and you're going to lay them out. Now, you can rinse these when they're still in a bundle, which I'm going to do because I think it just makes it easier and you don't want to tear your vine leaves. If you are using fresh grape leaves, you will need to blanch them first until they're soft. Okay? Right. So then, guys, what you're going to need, the recipe is really simple. We're going to need about a cup and a half to two cups of rice. You're going to need a few walnuts crushed or you can use pine nuts you're going to need one onion you're going to need the juice of two lemons and one extra lemon for garnish make it pretty gonna need some olive oil for frying or, sorry, vegetable oil. You can use olive oil, actually, guys. I might just do. Salt and pepper to taste. And then you're going to need some fresh dill. You can use dried, but I like to use fresh. And some fresh mint. Again, you can use dried. So, guys, oh, the smell is amazing in here. So, guys, that is everything that you're going to need to make these dolma. And I'm going to now go ahead and rinse um, my vine leaves off, and then I'll be back and show you what our next step is. Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen stove top. So I have my olive oil in my pan here, and I put about a um, little over a quarter cup of, of olive oil in here. Not too much. To which I'm gonna add my cup and a half of rice. And we don't want to cook our rice completely. We want it half cooked. So at this point, what you can go ahead and do is add your onions, which I've chopped. And you can finely chop these, obviously. But they're going to cook down a little bit, so... I'm going to let these go for about a couple of minutes, and I will bring you back. Hey guys, if you find that you need to add a little bit more olive oil, go ahead and do so. Smells great. Olive oil, onions. So now that this is going for a couple of minutes, I've added about a teaspoon of salt, but not too much. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of pepper. My ground pepper mill is not working. So I'm having to use <laughs> from the jar. It's all right. It's all good. At which point now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add my crushed walnuts, which I've done in my mortar and pestle, but you guys can do in a baggie with a rolling pin or 
um, between some parchment paper and uh, bash it with your rolling pin. Now you don't want to let this go too long because you don't want the nuts to burn. So, just a little bit. And that looks really good to me already. Smells great. Now guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my heat off completely and add my fresh herbs. So I have the mint that I've finally chopped and the dill. Again, all the amounts will be below in the description bar. Give this a mix through. The heat is off because you don't want your herbs to scorch. Oh, it looks and smells amazing, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside off the heat. I'm going to put it in a separate bowl, and then we'll get stuffing. All right, guys, it's time to stuff our vine leaves. So I hope I'm going to show you. What you want to do is you want to have the stem side up, so the hard ridge of the, of the stems up, okay? And you're going to be wanting to face the stem end, okay? If that makes any sense to you. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a tablespoon or so of your filling at the bottom end of your vine leaf. And then what you're simply going to do is get the bottom flaps and pull them up. Then you're going to fold the sides in. I'm doing this on an angle, guys. And then you're going to roll. Until you have, like, a cigar shape. Okay, and then you're going to place this back in the pan. Seam side down. And what we're going to do is we're going to tightly pack these in. Now, when you roll, you want them pretty tight, but you don't want them overly tight because the rice will expand when cooked. Okay, I'm going to show you one more. So, vein side up, stem end towards you. Go ahead with your teaspoon or so of filling. And guys, it's always better to have more filling than not enough. Um, if you have torn leaves, you can place them on the bottom of your pot. So, flat ends, bottom ends up, fold sides in. and roll until you get a cigar shape and that goes in the pan seam side down once you get going once you get used to it you'll do this very quickly it's a bigger one here but it's kind of has a, a few gaps in between and just open up your leaf if you have to. All right. Again, the vein side up, stem side toward you. Put in your filling. Bottom ends up. Fold over. It's like you're making, you know, a cigar or wrapping a present, guys. And then pull towards you and roll. And there's another one. And that will go in the pot as well. Now you're going to want to use a um, straight-sided pot for this. 
if or pan. If you do not have one, you can use a pot. That's fine. So I'm going to continue rolling, and I'll be back and show you when they're all done. All right, gang. Our dolma are all rolled, and I put them in this straight-sided deep pan very snugly in circles. Now I had a few left that I'm going to push together in the middle. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to just add the juice of two whole limes. So that's in. Bring you closer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of water to cover. That should be enough. Even the ones at the top will get steamed. To which I'm going to go ahead and add just a small drizzle of olive oil. You don't need a lot, guys. It's more for flavor than anything. Okay? And then what you're going to want to do is you want to get a plate that can fit your pot um, to weigh down your dolma so as they don't start floating around. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is put this on a low heat and we're going to simmer this for about 45 minutes until most of the water has been soaked up by the rice. If it doesn't, that's okay. You can just drain the excess water and then you're gonna let these to be uh, to cool, and I'll show you what we do next. Pop a lid on it, go have a glass of wine. In the meantime, guys, while your dolma is um, simmering away, go ahead and get a strainer and put it over a small pot or a bowl that it can sit on and line it with um, a few sheets of kitchen paper or paper towel or a coffee filter or cheesecloth. And go ahead and dump your favorite plain yogurt. This is homemade, and I shall put the link to my homemade yogurt video below and at the end. And go ahead and dump the yogurt in here. And let this drain for the 45 minutes that your dolma are going, because you want this really, really thick. All right, and I'll be back and show you when everything's ready. Hey gang, so our dolma has completely, as you can see, absorbed all the water. It's still a bit warm, so I'm gonna let it cool just slightly uh, longer. Our yogurt that we've let drain, as you can see, is becoming quite thick. Sorry for the noise there. It's becoming very thick, almost like a cream cheese, as you can see. So guys, all that's up to do is to let my dolma cool down a bit more and we'll play it up. See you in a bit. All right, gang, our Galaxy dolma is completed. They've cooled off. I put them on this platter um, with some lemon wedges. And all that's up to do now is to add our yogurt, which has thickened up quite nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into the middle for dipping. Honestly, it's like a cream cheese, guys. So good. So that goes in. Don't want to waste any of it. And then we're going to top this off with some crushed red chili flakes from Bukovo. Use your favorite chili flakes, guys. Then we're just going to garnish it up 
with a little basil leaf and a little sprig of mint. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, please like, please share, comment. My Facebook page will be below. And guys, we'll see you next time on Memories of Macedonia. Aida, falonogu, prietno, ciao.